please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, David A. Patterson, do solemnly swear. I, David A. Patterson, do solemnly swear. David A. Patterson was sworn in today as New York's 55th governor, almost exactly one week after it, it became public that Elliot Spitzer had been caught in a prostitution ring. So help me God. So help me God. The sense in the Capitol day was one of, uh, I would say, almost jubilation. Um, Elliot Spitzer really had a contentious relationship with the legislature, whereas uh, David Patterson was a senator for 22 years. He's someone that lawmakers know and like. Now he's really got to prove whether he can lead the state uh, through a very trying financial time. We are looking at an economy that is reeling. And I must say to all of you in government and all of you in business, that you must meet with me in the next couple of weeks and adjust our budget accordingly. It's going to be a very difficult task to, to bring the budget in on time. The, the deadline is March 31st. The, the new fiscal year begins on April 1st. And I think a lot of people are, are even having a hard time just figuring out how much revenue the state is going to take in when there's so much volatility on Wall Street. Let's face it, we rely a great deal on what comes out of uh, the financial community uh, from Wall Street and the, uh, and the banks that pay big taxes and uh, the stock exchange and so on. And that falling back as it now is uh, will put us in terms of revenues, uh, not where we would like to be. So obviously we have to deal with that. As opposed to Governor Spitzer, who had a very confrontational uh, approach with the legislature, I, I think most people expect that David Patterson will be much more of a conciliator. He's always been known as someone who could strike deals, who could reach across the aisle. He was the Senate Minority Leader uh, for several years, so he's, he's worked directly with uh, Joe Bruno, the state's top Republican. So I think the expectation is he's someone who will reach out to the legislature as opposed to um, push them away as, as Elliot Spitzer often did. Let us grab the unusual opportunities that circumstance has handed us today and put personal politics, party advantage, and power struggles aside in favor of service in the interest of the people. I talked to a bunch of the Republican state senators, and they were enthusiastic. Uh, it's no secret they had a very poor relationship with Governor Spitzer. And so I think that they uh, look forward to a much better relationship with Governor Patterson. We like, I like David. <laughs> Put it very bluntly. He brought some life to, the, to that room and to the hopes of the people of this great state. Over the next two weeks, uh, everyone will be focusing on both the budget and how it unfolds. What will he do with spending? Uh, you know, again, this is a very difficult uh, fiscal environment. Will he hold the line on spending? Uh, or, you know, as, as many people think, will, will he allow spending to grow and have more liberal policies like many people expect he will?